What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is up everybody? Welcome to our box opening of a regular box of Aquaria Lair of Behemoths. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you did not already see our collector's booster box opening, I highly suggest you check that out. Some really, really awesome stuff. Now, as before, this is sponsored by our great friends over at Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Uh, they're our local game store, and they are absolutely a fantastic group of people. Uh, thanks to them, we're able to do these almost every single time uh, a new set comes out, unless, of course, we forget to uh, follow up with them. So we do the best we can to, to stay on top of it. Uh, oop, the box topper kind of flew out there. Uh, so we do our best to stay on top of things. That way uh, they get a little bit of exposure, but, you know, we just really appreciate the, the working with them. It's really, really fun. So let's see what our box topper is here. These are... Always a little bit different. Uh, I think, yeah, this is very, very cool. Uh, unfortunate name, but that is okay. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of jump into this. Uh, we're not going to spend too much time on the commons and uncommons, of course, uh, just because you know they're they're fairly insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Crystalline Giant is a fantastic open, though. Uh, Avon Oddity. Uh, what we will do, though, is do a quick look through just to see if we get any of those alternate art cards. They are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to put that down there. Uh, they, they are really, really fantastic. Um, I, I love the fact that you can get those in these regular packs. Uh, it just makes it a little bit more exciting. Uh, and they are, they're beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Our first uh, Mythic already is a Brockus Apex of Forever. <clears throat> very, very happy to see that. Oh, and there we go. A Glowstone Recluse. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we'll kind of rummage through all these commons and uncommons. Not too exciting. So, uh, again, just want to thank Grand Slam. Without them, seriously, they, uh, they have supported us pretty much since the very beginning. Uh, and it's been truly a, a very special partnership without them. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the back. Uh, we would not have been able to do quite so many. Oops, there we go. Uh, the Macro Sage. Macro Sage, beautiful. Uh, and a Boneyard Lurker is our special card there. That was really nice. Uh, so thank you to them. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are in the uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina area, uh, or even up in Charlotte, North Carolina, it's about a 20-minute drive if you're... Oh, look at this. Look at this. A sl foil Slitherwisp. Beautiful, beautiful card, and not to mention a Ketria Triome. This is a fantastic pack. Uh, very, very happy to see all that. Uh, but yes, if you are in the area, please take a little peek down in Rock Hill. Uh, go visit Grand Slam. Say hello. Tell them we sent you. Uh, they are a fantastic group, seriously. So thank you to them. Uh, let's see. Oh, a foil durable coil bug. Very cool. And a Yadaro Wandering Monster. Fantastic card. Absolutely happy to see that. Um, so anyway, uh, thoughts on this set. I'd like to kind of talk about this a little bit because, um, obviously we've got a number of packs to go through. Uh, so we, we have a little bit of time here, uh, that I have with you. So, uh, just want to mention so far, oh, Dranith Ma uh, Magistrate is a very cool card, by the way. Uh, it shuts down a lot of stuff. Uh, so if you, if you haven't played Akoria yet, or you haven't been watching any gameplay yet, uh, I, first of all, I highly recommend you do so. We've uh, got quite a lot on our channel that we've been trying to get up for you guys on a daily basis. Foil Cub Warden and a Kolga the Titan Ape. What a crazy, crazy good pack. Um, and uh, it's been really, really fun. It's great to see uh, how a new set affects a standard environment. It's always exciting because you never know exactly what's going to come out of it. Uh, some decks, you know, you kind of expect. And some decks, it's like, whoa, where did this come from? A uh, Kahira, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but what I've actually really enjoyed... Ooh, nice, a Migratory Great Horn as well. Uh, what I've really enjoyed is the fact that a lot of the decks that we previously had in Standard kind of just got random upgrades. Uh, like Jeskai Fire's got a nice upgrade with uh, the the Macro Sage. Ooh, Zerda. Very, very cool. 
Uh, we, we've gotten some new decks out of it as well. Things like Mutate, things like Cyclers, ooh, a full art, or a, uh, alternate art Cloud Piercer, very nice. Um, and those decks are very, very fun. Like, it's cool to see new stuff hitting the standard environment, but also a new form of old decks hitting the standard environment. I think that's what I've really enjoyed seeing the most. Um, we've also, though, like... What I will say is one of my favorite decks, uh, if you've been playing over the last few weeks, you, you've had to have seen it uh, on Arena, uh, is Garuda. Garuda is such a cool card, such a cool card. Uh, it's essentially just this crazy, crazy combo deck uh, that can really, really go over the top very quickly. Now it's a bit hit or miss, and it's a little bit slow. Uh, only because, you know, you, you do have to have that six mana to do it. And um, <clears throat> with mono red, especially on the best of one ladder, it can be a bit challenging to get that off. But um, it is a very, very powerful deck and one that I really, really love playing. Uh, Umori, we are just nailing it on the companions here, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Oops, let's put that there. Uh, and it's a very, very fun deck. Now, there's a lot of decks like that. Um, we're seeing... One of my other favorites, the Mutate deck. Uh, I prefer kind of the Sultai Mutate. However, we've also played a Bant Mutate that was very, very fun. Uh, ooh, look at that. That is so cool. A Cub Warden. Yes, I am in. Uh, so the Sultai Mutate deck has a little bit more of a toolbox feel to it to me uh, because you do get that black uh, for for things like uh, Dirge Bat and things so that can kind of remove creatures or Planeswalkers for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I think that that's kind of the way I would play it. Uh, the Crasher, very nice. Uh, still no second Mythic, but that's okay. We'll we'll get something along the way there. Um, and I, I love that deck. It is a very, very fun deck. It's a very efficient deck. <clears throat> now, it has its weaknesses, as every deck does, but uh, I'm really, really loving it. Uh, Genesis Ultimatum, our first Ultimatum of the box. Very, very cool. Um, it, it just it feels like it can do so much. And I think um, what we're seeing is like the value stuff that we're getting is really, really cool. Now, uh, one, I'll say downside for lack of a better term of this set uh, that we're seeing uh, is that companions might be a little too good. Um, we're <laughs> we're kind of seeing them take over a little bit. Now, uh, if you've been playing again on standard or on arena at all or online, uh, I'm sure you're seeing quite a few, oh nice, great chart, uh, quite a few Luris decks uh, roaming around, and that's really the one that I think has taken over the most. Now, it's it was already, like the Rakdos Sacrifice deck, for instance, or Jun's Sacrifice, or however you wanted to play it, uh, was already a very strong deck. Having a little bit more built-in recursion just seems like a little bit too good, um, is what I will say. Uh, and not to mention, it also just affects other decks. It does a really, really good job um, in dealing with certain other decks. And it's just, it's too good. I think it's too good. Now, I, oh, there we go. Luminous, Luminous Broodmoth is our second mythic. Two very good mythics. Uh, would love to see a Planeswalker in this, this, um, this box here. Uh, I have pulled a few so far. Uh, off camera and they've been uh, I love them. Uh, I would love to get an alternate art planeswalker We did actually get very very lucky and pull one of those jubilant skybonder and our second ultimatum emergent ultimatum Very very nice uh, and a hunt master liger. Wow um, So yeah, I I don't know. I'm I'm a little on the fence with things like Luris where it's like, okay, is this too good? I feel like it is uh, to be honest However, there are quite a lot of ways in standard... Oh, nice, the spell chaser. Uh, banned immediately. Um, there are quite a lot of ways to deal with it uh, fairly immediately. Uh, so especially if you're in like a match game, not just a best of one game. Um, I do think that there are plenty of ways that you can deal with it. You know, Splash Ashiok. Uh, if you're in like a Sultai build or any kind of blue-black uh, focused build. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The Labyrinth Rafter, by the way. Very unimpressed with the Menace deck. Uh, I did kind of try that one out and was not happy with it. Um, but anyway, th it's just... I I think that there are tools in Standard to deal with it, but I do think in like the best of one ladder at the very least, I do think Luris is very much taking over to a, to a bit of a fault. Um, oh, look at that. A foil alternate art Gem Razor. And a regular Gem Razor. Wow. Very, very cool. Um, anyway... 
Uh, and so, yeah, I, I'm not a fan, uh, to be honest. I, I love Luris. I think it's a very, very powerful card and a very cool card. Uh, but I just don't love the fact that it's doing what it's doing, if that makes sense. Well, we got to... Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well... We did get there. Uh, Luca Copper Court out, out, Copper Coat Outcast, excuse me, absolutely stunning. Look at that, guys. We are we're doing all right on this box. I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of my take on it. Again, I'm not an expert on this. I just like to play the game, uh, and so it's just fun for me uh, to see what kind of decks are out there and see what other kind of things we can do. Eerie Ultimatum, probably my favorite. We played an Eerie Ultimatum deck uh maybe last week or something like that that was very very fun um abzan eerie ultimatum oh the value the value guys it was amazing uh titan's nest not a super exciting card in my opinion uh, but that's okay a dream tale heron um we're getting down to the last few packs here we've got a little bit left so far though this box has been quite good um we've gotten technically three mythics Ooh, shark typhoon one of my favorites um <clears throat> technically three mythics uh which is you know not bad we're expecting hopefully one or two more um but one of those was an alternate art lucas which is perfect very very good uh let's see nice oh there we go winota joiner of forces now this is another deck uh that has really really done quite well um now in best of one i'm i'm seeing it it, I, it fluctuated. It very, very quickly kind of uh, took off on the best of one ladder. Uh, I'm seeing it a lot less now. Ooh, a second Slither Wisp. Very, very happy to see that. Um, I'm seeing it a lot less now, but uh, it is a very, very powerful deck. You get a lot of cool stuff. And I think that's what I'm seeing a lot more of now. Other than the Luris decks, we're seeing these like... Oh, look at that. A Narset as well. Um... We're seeing a lot of these decks just go way, way over the top, and the power level is outstanding, uh, which is fun, I will say, and I'm, I'm loving that. Uh, so, honestly, I can't complain. I'm loving the new standard environment. I think it is very, very fun. Um, Mythos of Nethroi, very cool. Uh, other than the Luris decks on the best of one, I, I do think that's a bit of a problem, um, but that's okay. You know, it's, it's not going to be perfect. Um, I know Mark Rosewater... Uh, I believe it was he he I don't want to put words in his mouth by any means. Ooh, classification, very cool. I don't want to put words in his mouth by any means, but he alluded to at the very least, um, if I'm not mistaken, the fact that companion may have been a bit of a mistake. Uh I know he was the one that kind of pushed for companion in this set. Um and it sounds to me like there might be a little bit of regret going on there. Uh oh bosh, very, very cool. Uh, and a lore Dracus. Very, very nice. Um, so, I, I don't know. I, I have to assume that they're kind of looking at the standard environment and seeing, okay, what what do we need to be doing here? And do we need to ban anything? Um, I hate that they're banning or they're considering that so early, but it is what it is. Uh, Savai Triumph. Very, very nice. Um, but, you know, they do have to keep the, the, the standard environment healthy. Um, and so... I'm for it if it keeps it healthy, but I do. That does also beg the question. You know, why did they why did they print the card in the first place? Is this just power creep getting too far? What what is it? So, uh, Skycat Sovereign. Oops, not a mythic. Um, we actually played a blue white flyers list uh, recommended by our good friend Adam on uh, Instagram. All right, guys, this is the last pack. Let's see what we can get so far. I mean, this this box has been fantastic in my opinion. I'm very, very happy. A foil swamp and the wellspring. Very, very nice. Uh, Sprite dragon, nothing too crazy there. All right. So our mythics, Narset, Winota, Luminous Broodmoth, and Brokus. Not to mention, we did get the full art Lucas. Whoops. Sorry for the glare there. Fantastic, guys. Uh, I do just want to mention, sorry if this, this video is a little bit out of focus. We're trying a new setup uh, to make it a little bit easier, and I don't think it worked out as well as I would have liked, but that's okay. I do still hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Grand Slam. Truly, without their help, we could not do what we do, so thank you to them. Certainly do appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the set. I hope you guys were able to get your hands on some, uh, and hopefully I will see you very, very soon in the next 
maybe box opening video, gameplay video, whatever it is. I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.